hysterectomy is the removal of the womb, which is the top bit of the womb and the neck of the womb or the cervix, which joins the womb into the vagina. Um, it often also encompasses the removal of the fallopian tubes and the ovaries as well. In my practice, I don't deal with uh, cancer. So all of the hysterectomies I'm doing are, are to improve the quality of your life. Most women choose to have a hysterectomy because they have problems with their periods, that they're either very painful or very heavy or both. Some women choose to have a hysterectomy because there are um, concerns about really, really bad sort of premenstrual symptoms. And for that to, to be improved surgically, we need to take their ovaries away and we'd need to think about taking the, the womb away at the same time. If you have your ovaries removed at the time of the hysterectomy, you'll go straight into a surgical menopause, which can be far sort of worse than a natural menopause. And we'd then recommend that for most people you took um, hormone replacement therapy or HRT with it. If you keep your ovaries, then they will continue to work in the background. You may get pain every month because you'll still ovulate. You may get some sort of hormonal changes such as headaches or breast tenderness. And they will then continue until you go into the menopause. Some women, when they have a hysterectomy, decide to keep their cervix. Um, and the cervix is the bottom bit of the womb that joins into the vagina. And their reason for wanting to keep that is that it, we don't then touch the vagina. So in terms of sexual function, uh, it remains exactly the same. There have been studies that have been done in the past looking at sexual function after all different types of hysterectomies that have said sexual function normally improves because people aren't bleeding or in pain and it's a personal choice whether you decide to keep your cervix or not. Most people are in hospital for um, just a day, sometimes uh, some people go home on the same day. Afterwards there's a, a bit of pain often from the gas, depending on whether we take away the, the neck of the womb, the, the actual cervix or not, it depends on whether people have stitches in the vagina and if you do then the stitches in the vagina on average take about six weeks to dissolve.